It's a beautiful day out. It's gorgeous for baseball. I figured why not rip one outside in the great outdoors. Kenny C back on the mic to talk about the streaking Bronx Bombers. They continue to produce now nine and two on the season. Their best start since 2020. And with a win tonight against the Marlins again, who they beat up on last night, I was at the game. That video was taken by yours truly, Anthony Volpe, going yard in the fourth inning, hit a three-run blast. If the Yanks can improve to 10-2 and two tonight, that'll be their hottest start since 2004. They are now tied, they're currently tied for the best record in Major League Baseball with the Pittsburgh Pirates at 9-2. and two. The Miami Marlins, not so much. Now 1-10, Yanks beat them up 7-0. Great game to be at. I was also at the home opener, which was not so great. Even though Marcus Stroman was, had a great outing, the bats fell silent in that one. They lost 3-0. A bad, uh, bad, left a bad taste in your mouth leaving the stadium, the first one in the Bronx. But this one helped me out. They got a 7-0 win. Juan Soto also went yard in the fourth inning. His first as a Yankee to the short porch, or first in the Bronx, I should say, as a Yankee to the short porch. And then Alex Verdugo, Ripped an RBI single in the fifth. The Yanks are finding ways to win in more ways than just hitting home runs. Contrary to the fact that Juan Soto and Volpe hit dingers last night, they're finding ways to win night in and night out by putting the ball in play, drawing walks, great plate discipline. They've taken the second most pitches in Major League Baseball. Just speaks volumes to their great plate discipline. Volpe's got a great eye. Obviously, Soto ha has a great eye. Cabrera's been outstanding. Cabrera, Volpe, and Soto have the best averages on the team right now. Volpe, 4.417 average right now. He is on fire. 15 hits, 6 ribbies, 2 home runs on the year. Unsung hero for the Yanks thus far. Hopefully this kid can continue to take quantum leaps. And last year he had the Golden Glove. 20 home runs, 20 steals. He was outstanding. And I hope that he continues that. Josh Mach Mach Machieski. Last night, the Yanks brought him up from the farm system, one of their prospects. He had a nice, solid ninth inning in relief of Nestor, Nestor Cortez. You got to beat up on the bad teams. You got to win against the bad teams. So even though, yes, they played a poor team, you still have to take care of business. Nestor Cortez, it was a great confidence booster for him. He went eight innings strong, giving up just two hits and had six strikeouts. It's what he needed after giving up four runs and three runs, respectively, in his first two starts. I like it. I hope he heats up and does well the rest of the way. We got to get, we got to get Derek Cole back into the mix. Rodon pitches tonight on the hill against the Marlins in Game Two of this series, and hopefully he can deal. I'm pretty sure you just saw that beat go by, but we are in the great outdoors. Hopefully he can deal tonight against the Marlins and get some confidence for him. But the Bombers are rolling. Leave your comments in the comment section below, and subscribe as well. That's a huge help.